Today we are going to talk about slowly changing dimension type 2. It is also known as SCD. It maintains all the historical records along with the current record. It is useful for change data capture, which is also known as CDC. This table is never done as a truncate load. It is always loaded as a part of incremental loads. The table size usually increases along with time because we are maintaining history records in it. There are a few terms which are very important for SCD type 2. Those are surrogate keys, effective start date, effective end date, and active flag. Again, we are using natural key in this table to identify the changed records. So as a part of SCD type 2, we basically deal with few terms. First one is the surrogate key. We all know surrogate key from our previous videos. The second one is effective start date. And the third one is effective end date. And the final one is active flag. Okay, as a part of surrogate key, surrogate key we know is the artificial key that are used in the dimensions. Effective start date is something when the record is starting, when we are loading that record. These are certain audit columns that we use as a part of this SCD type 2 dimension. Effective end date is when that record is expiring. If the record is the current record, we usually use a high date, what we call a high date. High date is nothing but something called 31st December 9999. So this is the default high date that we use for effective end date if the record is a current record. Now if active flag denotes if the record is a current record or not. So for that case, if the record is a current record, we usually is use 1 or if the record is expired or a historical record, we use 0. You can also use Y or N for this. Now, let's jump into an example to understand it quickly. Consider this is the employee dimension and we have one record already inserted into this, which has a surrogate key of 01. The employee ID is 001. The employee address, the current record is employee address is Bangalore. And the effective start date so the date from which this employee is residing in bangalore for us is first january 2023 and since this is a current record we are marking effective end date as 31st december 9999 and we have marked this active flag as y now consider there is a change now the we are getting two changes as a part of the data load the first change is the same employee which was there e001 which is our natural key in this case the employee address changes to Kolkata and we get one more record which is not there as a part of our dimension which is E002 where the employee is from Indore. So this is an insert case for us and this is an update case. Okay. So uh, since we maintain historical record we do not update. We basically insert a new record. What happens in this case is we will have a 002 here. We'll insert this new record again for that same employee. The location is changed to Kolkata. Now, when we are loading data, consider this load is happening on 10th Jan. Okay, so in that case, the effective start date will be 10th Jan 2023, and our end high date would be 31st December 1999 because this is now the active record and the current flag will be end. Now, there is there is one update that will happen here. What will happen is we'll change this date and this effective flag to no. So what we'll do is we will change on the day of 10th Jan. This will become because since the change happened in 10th Jan, so this record expired on 3rd, 9 December 2029 and the active flag become N. And the second record for which we don't have any change that will get inserted. So it will become E002. This is indoor again, same 10th Jan 2023, and high date 31st December 9999. This is why now this is how the historical records are maintained. Consider we again get a change for the employee 002. In that case, what will happen is suppose on 12th Jan, we again get a change for employee 002. Now the employee moved to Bangalore. In this case, this will be 12 Jan 2023. It will be high date record because this is the active record, right? And this would be why now this will change. This particular section will change. This will become 
11th Jan 2023 and this will become active number. So this is how we maintain history in SCD type 2.